Hi, Mrs. Greasack here, and I'm going to show you how to paint the base layer for your Elabrije. Here's my little kitty that I'm gonna use. Now she's already um, painted all white. Um, yours are obviously not going to be starting in this way, and I don't want you to paint one solid color everywhere and then paint another color over top of it because you have to wait till it dries to paint the next color then. Um, <clears throat> But I am going to show you how I, I want her to be two or three colors on her base layer. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to add the pink and the purple um, parts of her body and how to you properly use the paint and properly make your palette. So when you are getting ready to paint the base colors of your Alabrije, so that you can see this little fox, his base color is white on his tummy and chin and on his paws and then black everywhere else um he does have white also on the tip of his tail and the tip of his ears so the base layer <clears throat> is the layer that goes underneath your designs now this one doesn't have a whole lot of super detailed designs we're going to talk about that in a different video um but this is just the base layer so when you're over at the counter you're obviously not going to have cups of paint at your table that's not going to be allowed um, but i wanted to film this video for you so that you could see when you're over at the counter, I have um, these wide popsicle sticks inside the paints to get your paint on your palette. Make sure that you're not pouring a ton of paint. I, you don't need that much, you guys. You really, really don't need that much paint. So when you're getting your paint, you're just going to hold your plate over top. I'm going to scooch this a little closer so you can see. Hold your plate over top of the edge, and you're going to dab some paint on there. You might want to get two dabs of paint and that's about it that's really all you need now if you end up using all of that and you need more it's okay to go get more um, it's not okay to take too much I do not want a ton of my paint going down the drains because you guys take too much paint um, it's wasteful and this paint is too expensive for that so we're just going to um, put your two colors or if, if some of you might only want one color for your entire base and that's fine maybe you get three of those um, as uh, your palette, but that's that's basically how much you're gonna need right there, okay? Um, I took each popsicle stick, I held the plate over the top, and I tapped it twice. So I did one, two, okay? Now, um, it might be a good idea for you to take a pencil and kind of plan out where you want your base color to be. I was thinking I want the outside of her ears to be pink, and I kind of want her face to be pink, so I'm probably going to do like something like this. Um, I, I think I want her eyes to be on the white. I think I want that to be white. So I'm going to go around the outside of her ears. And then I'm going to come in and close like this and then go down the outside of her paws. So if you have a pencil line already planned out where you want your base color to be, that will help you. Um, when you're painting, I mean, you can just kind of go for it and see um, how it goes. Now then I thought I would do purple along her back like this. And then maybe up her tail. Maybe I'll do pink on the bottom of her tail, purple on the top. Okay, so that's my plan. And then I want, I, I like the idea of her paws being white, so I'm probably going to stop. At a certain point here and I want her tummy to also be white so I'm gonna kind of go along there and then around her legs like that try to make that even how far did I go right there and so so you kind of have a plan right of what you want to do so I'm gonna do I think I'll do the purple first because the purple is gonna be in a little place and then I can fill in the rest with pink so I'm gonna start with this brush I'm not uh, uh, let me be honest with you guys I'm not really sure if the wide brushes are gonna work better or the skinny brushes so I have them both 
Um, you should always have a cup of water at your table because if you decide to stop painting with a brush, you want to always put it right straight into the water so that that acrylic paint doesn't have time to dry out in the bristles. Um, I'm going to make a video later or at least show you during class later how to properly clean these brushes. Um, just dipping them and rinsing them in water is not the same as cleaning them. Um, you're definitely going to want some paper towels handy too because if you get too much paint on your brush, um, you may want to dab off your paper towel on your paper towels and you definitely need to have a washcloth handy that's wet with some hot water so that you can wipe up any messes that you make because acrylic paint will ruin the dusks. It does not come off. It has to be chipped off and we don't need these dusks to get in any worse, worse shape than they already are. So the first thing I'm going to do is wet my brush, okay? Um, you don't need it to be dripping wet like with watercolor paint, but a moist brush will definitely be easier to paint with. Now I'm going to do the purple first and I can already tell you I got way too much purple paint because I know it's not gonna take that much. So I'm gonna do this purple for sure on her back. And I want it to come all the way up like this. Yeah, I'm not too crazy about this wide brush. Some of you might just, you might like being able to paint with one, you know, without having to go back and forth all over it. But um, I'm not super in love with it. I probably would like the skinny brush better, but now that I've started, I'm just going to keep going with it. Okay, so that's that. Um, By the way, acrylic paint dries darker than it looks when it's wet. So tomorrow when you see this dried, it's going to be much darker than it is now. Um, so keep that in mind. These colors are going to be a bit darker than they look right now. I'm not super in love with this. Now, probably you can see by my painting right now that um, the bumpiness of your paper mache is definitely going to affect how well you can paint. Okay, and this is just the base layer. I'm not even getting to the detail part yet. Do I want her tail to be purple all the way up? I don't think so. I think I'll do pink for the rest of it. See, I got way too much purple paint, you guys. Way too much. Unless I do some more purple on there. Maybe you guys can share the paint if you get too much. See if somebody near you also wants that same color. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, that was way too much purple paint. Okay, I'm gonna switch brushes. I'm gonna just leave that in there so it doesn't dry out. I'm gonna get some pink going here. Now I'm gonna have to be careful because wherever it touches the purple, it's gonna kind of wanna mix in and I don't want it to mix in. So right there, I gotta be real careful. I don't want the white to show. I don't want the purple and the pink to mix either. But I will have lots of, I'll have lots of opportunities to do some really cool patterns later on top of the pink and on top of the purple and the white. Oh, see what's happening right there? It's kind of blending in. Ugh. Some parts are easier to get to. If your paper mache is really, really wrinkly, um, it's going to be a little trickier. Also, be prepared for this to get on your fingers and your hands because um, that probably will happen and if it does you just have to wash them off it's fine yeah i want that to come all the way down like that i want it to go over her leg see i could make her back legs purple instead of pink. That might look good. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this part right here be pink. 
And then I think the whole back part I'm gonna make purple. It's okay to make decisions as you go. Like that's part of your artist um, choice, right? Okay, now we gotta try and make the side even. So I can see I got a little pink on top of my purple over there. I'll just take the purple and kind of go over it again here in a second. Um, something that you might find is that your paint sometimes dries pretty quickly. And it might be dry enough that it won't cause you any issues. Some of the paint dries faster than others, but acrylic paint normally dries pretty quick. That was nice that I had a pencil mark already there, so I can follow it. And I forgot to close my door, so we're going to hear all the kids coming in here in a second. Um, was that it for pink? Look, I got way too much paint. So when you guys get your paint, you don't need two, two paddles full, whatever you want to call that, popsicle stick full. You don't need two of them. You only need one. Because look at this. Like, I hardly, I hardly used any paint at all. So I want you guys to get even less paint than I did. Because look at all that wasteful paint. Now, what you're gonna do with your palettes is you're going to put saran wrap over them and keep them um, if you still need to paint the next day. But if you are done with that color and you're not gonna use any more of that color, then you're going to clean your palette and keep it because your palette is gonna stay your palette for the whole project. And, um, oh, I just got pink on her tail. Oh. Okay, let's rinse that off. Um, keep a piece of paper handy, newspaper, to put underneath your work so that when you set it down, um, because you're obviously, I didn't have to paint the white part, but you're going to be painting the bottoms of their feet and everything. Um, my white is already done, but uh, you're going to need some place to set it so it doesn't get paint all over the table. So make sure you have something like a piece of paper like this, paper towel, whatever. Um, okay, now I decided I want to do more purple, so I'm going to, first of all, cover up that pink mistake that's right there. Also, some of this purple looks a little thin, so I'm just going to give it like a second coat. And then I think I'm going to make all of the back of her legs and the back of her tail purple. So I think that'll be prettier. Oh, I just got, look, did you see that? I got purple paint everywhere. Got to be careful. Be real careful about by the edges of your paint. Get the back of her tail. How high should I go up? I think I'll go up to that spot where I started that purple before. A nice crisp line. I'm gonna have to get some white paint to fix that spot right there because I actually got pink on it. Unless I give her a pink stripe up there, I could do that. Oh, let's
let's see. Yep. That's just about it. So hopefully you can see by that how the process works and you can have some fun designing your creatures and trying not to waste too much paint um, so that you can have a cute animal when you're done. So that's how she looks so far. I don't know. I might still change a little bit of her face. I haven't decided yet if I like that. It makes her look kind of more angry. So we'll see. I want her to look cute, not angry. All right, have fun painting, you guys.